they go on to support that claim by leveraging this video's other main problem, piss poor comprehension skills. That's really the best way to sum it up. For example, I'm thinking of the point Chrissy Mayer tries to make, that Blue Beetle is racist because there's a scene where a slick, professionally dressed Jaime is mistakenly directed to the delivery's entrance of a big corporate building, the implication being that the receptionist makes this blunder because of Jaime's race, i.e. because she's racist. And this wouldn't happen in reality. A receptionist wouldn't just be racist like this. Mm. And the receptionist yeah. looks at this guy with his yes. hair, you know, his hair combed, jacket Ivy and tie, and going both, and goes, deliveries are downstairs, which would never fucking happen. You would never- Never happen. Wow, okay. Never say that. It's just like intentionally racist. Like, oh, because this guy is tan, he- uh, Okay, I saw a video on YouTube the other day where, like, a guy who, he was a black man who worked at a store in a random plaza of, like, stores, and he was going out to the parking lot, to go to his car, or to go to his bicycle, his, uh, not his bicycle, his, uh, his motorcycle, his bike. And, um, his wife had actually pulled in to the same parking lot to go grocery shopping at the store next door and say, like, what's up? You know, hi, what's going on? And, uh, like, say hello to him as he's going out of work, and they would, like, drive home and, you know, meet at home, right? Racist Karen sees him go from his motorcycle to his wife's car, calls the police and reports it as... A suspicious looking man is um looking and looking at cars. I think he's casing them to rob them. Cops show up. Don't, they don't ask him a single question other than I'd like to see your ID. He says, am I under arrest? They say, no, we just like to see your ID and, and I, we want to know what's going on. We got a call about some su suspicious behavior and you, you match the description. He says, well, unless I'm under arrest or you suspect me of a crime, and you tell me so, I don't need to provide you my ID, I know my rights. You should not argue with cops like this, he probably could have gotten out of it a lot faster if he just showed his ID, said, Oh yeah, it's my bike, my wife's inside. Um, am I under arrest? Am I- Oh, I'm under arrest? Uh, can I- Oh, I'm not under arrest? Can I leave? Okay, I can't leave, so I'm under arrest. Well, no, if I can't leave, I'm under arrest, I'd like a lawyer. I, I'm not saying anything further till I have my lawyer. And that, that's how it would go in that case. But probably if he just showed his ID and went on with it, it probably would have been fine. You always shut the fuck up when dealing with the cops. But he did not. And as much as it's not like his fault at all, it's the cops' fault, um, you shouldn't argue with the cops. And what happens when you argue with the cops happened, they immediately say, put your hands behind your back. Uh, and they say they're going to put the cuffs on him and he's under arrest. Simply for arguing back and saying, I know my rights and... Uh, and I'm not doing anything here. You have to like acute, like you have to actually suspect me of something. Um, they they tell him to turn around and put the cuffs on. He asks, "Am I under arrest?" They say, "No. We just want to ask you questions. If you're being put in handcuffs, you are under arrest. If they say you can't leave, you are under arrest. You invoke the fifth. You ask for a lawyer. You refuse to say anything else. At that point, if they really want to get you, they'll take you to the uh, office. If they know that like this is just a, they, you know your rights and that there's nothing they're going to get out of you, they'll probably leave at that point and say, all right, fine, you're free to go. But if not, you go through with it. You go to get your lawyer. You don't say a damn word and you go through the legal process. You will never win a legal argument with a cop in the street. It, it, it is for court only. That is to be solved in court with your lawyer. It is not an argument to be had in the street. You do very basic questions of, am I free to leave? Uh, am I under arrest? If they say you're not under arrest, but still don't let you leave, consider it being under arrest, invoke the fifth, refuse to speak, get a lawyer. Anyway, um, with all that aside, uh, he proceeds to be tackled to the ground because he responded to put your hands behind your back with a question. So he's tackled to the ground, uh, repeatedly punched and kicked by the officer, uh, and then tased until his hands are behind his back and they cuff him. His wife is now at this point outside screaming, please stop, please stop, that's my husband, that was our car. The cop then goes and questions the lady, very, like, the lady who called the police, the Karen. The Karen's, like, watching all this go down and, like, cheering it on and all that. She's watching, she's all in favor of what's happening. It's clearly she, it's very clear she's a racist who, like, is very happy to see this innocent black man be getting beaten by a cop. She probably knew he was innocent, um, just based off of her demeanor, because she's, like, actively goading the cop when the cop stops to question her, and the wife is there, like, confirming in this lady's earshot that that car is hers and that he wasn't stealing anything. She continues to answer the cop's questions, trying to incriminate the guy. Um, no, like, the, the idea that a racist woman, a racist white woman, might be racist towards a non-white man is something I have witnessed numerous times on the internet and in, in real life.
and, and has no deliveries. Clearly, he's here for deliveries. It was really kind of unbelievable the way they would sort of force the racism in. I'm not going to do the thing where I suggest that moments of bizarre, random racism like this, moments almost more absurd than offensive, do indeed happen. That yes, people. Once again, I don't care how much you hate cops, you do every single thing they ask you to do, as if your life is on the line, because it very well may be. If you're being unlawfully detained, if they're planting evidence on your vehicle, whatever it may be, you take it up with your lawyer, don't say a word, don't fight, um, you have no legal authority to defend yourself. Oh my god, holy fuck, guys, the other day, I was looking at the comment section of one of the- of that- it might have been that video I described earlier. One of the comments was a guy- Clearly a conservative 14-year-old or 15-year-old libertarian or some shit saying, you have the right to defend yourself even in this situation. And all the top replies, or at least many of the top replies are like, uh, rightfully so. No, you don't. You do not have the right to defend yourself even at, uh, against deadly force used by a cop. You will go to jail for assault against an officer. You cannot defend yourself. You like it, like... Unless you are guaranteed going to die if you don't defend yourself, and you'd rather take prison time, a prison time over death, and you know that's the only choice, that's the only time you should defend yourself against a cop is when the only alternative is death. And sometimes that's the case. There are cases, no matter how much of a cop glazer you want to be, there are cases where bad cops decide they want to kill you because they think you're the bad guy, and they falsely assumed it. You match the idea of a suspect, maybe your vehicle does, and they have the decision of open firing right away. One of the best videos to, like, point to of this phenomenon, I, I know we're getting really stunlocked on cops here, but it, I'm, I'm not desisting from this point because it's so good. One of the best examples is the video of the guy and his girlfriend. He was 19 years old, I think, in the car with his girlfriend. They were in the um, parking lot of a fast food joint eating their food. The cop uh, pulled in, and the car max matched the description of a stolen car that he was, like, on the lookout for. So his response was to immediately pull the gun on the car um, and on the couple in the car eating. Not It was nighttime and the windows were tinted and up so you couldn't see who was inside. He immediately pulls the gun and points it at them. And uh, like the guy in the car is obviously like panicking and doesn't know what to do. So he like moves. And in response to him moving, the cop opens up just spraying shots from his Glock through the window. Um, at the guy in the driver's seat and then the car starts to move forward because when you're getting shot at and you're in a you know car you start to drive so he drives forward about 10 feet to try to get out of the line of fire from the cop and then puts the window down because he's you know he's shot and he puts his hands out screaming please help me i'm shot please i'm i'm not i'm innocent he's got his hands up the cop proceeds to dump the rest of his mag into the guy as the girlfriend's screaming in the passenger seat he survives i believe thank god i think he survived but the cop dumped his entire mag into the guy when he had no confirmation the guy was the correct suspect, and um, the guy was begging, pleading for his life, showing he was not a threat. The cop was so afraid and so sure he had the right guy and had decided that this guy was going to die already, that there was no way for this innocent man to confirm his innocence to the cop. How do you survive in that case? When the cop is literally opening fire on you and you're the wrong fucking guy and he's not going to stop till you're dead because he really thinks you're the guy, all you can reasonably do to save yourself is run and get away, which may be impossible to get away from a cop, or fire back, in which case you're going to prison for a very long time, but you're alive. But the police have the authority to kill you no matter what in this country. Um, like, they, they add in the moment, have the authority to kill you. Whether or not they were in the right for doing so will be determined well after the fact. It'll be long before you get justice, if justice is ever doled out, if a cop kills you wrongfully. They will be high-fived and, like, given cheers by their friends when they show up at the scene. The backup won't know the full story, so they'll immediately assume it was a rightful, lawful shooting um, that their fellow officer did. So you'll, be, you'll have your dead body on the ground as cops stand over you, congratulating each other about taking out uh, a perp. And the guy who shot you will, uh, will get away with it. Uh, for the time being, for at least a couple dead, for a couple days until things get looked over, body cam footage and and investigations are done, and then justice is sometimes brought out or the video goes viral. But yeah, the policing in this country is fucked. There's very good reason why most Americans are terrified of cops, regardless of whether or not they've done any wrongdoing. People in majority white spheres can sometimes get away with blatant racism for far longer than you'd expect. No, instead, I'm gonna tell you that I watched Love Rosie the other day. Stay with me here. Love Rosie. Statistically, I probably have one or two cops in my audience. Like, I'm pretty sure there's, like, literally a Voshite cop, right? 
Yeah, he was watching him talk about FNAF, too. That was the thing. The cop was watching Vosh's F Five Nights at Freddy's video. That That is fucking bizarre, dude. Weird stun lock. Okay, someone found it. People identified it as, as Vosh's FNAF video. That's fucking crazy, dude. That's a good meme. See? Statistically, there must be at least one or two cops that watch me, and they know that they're, if they watch me, they're probably based, and they know how bad their co-workers can be. Z is a rom-com, and as rom-coms go, it's a fairly grounded one. Naturalistic, realistic, and yet, at one point, as our It's a video. Wait, herself... there is a video? Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll, we'll watch the clip from the Vosh video so I can see the video clip, because I, I, I want to see the clip of it in motion. Oh my god, it's in full- yeah, it is, okay, it's been a long time since this, so I- I totally forgot it was a full motion video. Yeah, you can't fake that. There's- there's literally no way this is fake. I thought, like, there's a chance an image could have been faked. This couldn't have been faked. Okay. No way, dog. no way! What is he watching? Who is that? No- Dude, that's not fake. That is a real- what- what- what town? What town? Hold on. City of... Oko... Oko-y? Oko-y? Oko- Oko Oko-y, Florida? Wait, do I know the name of this place, but I've only heard it said, and I don't know, like, how to pronounce it spelled? How's it pronounced? A Florida cop! I bet I've heard the name of this place pronounced... Yeah, okay. So, Koei, Florida. And a, and a Koei, Florida cop watches Vosh. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. See? There's some good cops out there.